Hi, it's Katrina Sawa here again with uh, jumpstartyourbiznow.com. You are on my YouTube, probably watching this, and I'm talking about the eight secrets to a consistent money-making business. Today's video is all about step secret, secret number five, and uh, the rest of them can be found on my YouTube or my blog, perhaps. Um, but secret number five to creating a consistent money-making business is enlisting systems, strategies, and team to stay organized. I will tell you that organization is probably the single most important thing that I have done that I, that I do that has gotten me to where I am today. I am so organized. It's ridiculous. Okay. It is really ridiculous in, except for if you could see my desk right now, like that's the only thing that, but that, <clears throat> but I have organized piles. Like these are my leads to follow up on. These are my to do's. And these are the things that just got done and need to get filed. And these are the, you know, personal items over here that at some point need to get done. So it is organized. Um, but what I'm talking about is not just organizing your paper. I'm talking about organizing your, uh, your whole entire business, everything you do from how you keep your computer folders and files, how you're organizing uh, your client uh, information, I have client file folders like this, where I keep hard copies of things that I'm doing with people. And I also keep client folders in my computer where I save all their, their call recordings and any documents or things that we've worked on, uh, you know, order forms and flyers or eBooks or things that we've created for them, logos and stuff. It's all in the electronic folder. Then, uh, so keeping really clear folders, but also in regards to like, I speak a lot, right? So I'm a really, I speak probably two to three times a week on something, a podcast, an event, a meeting, a call, in person, online, uh, my own events and calls. Uh, and uh, keeping my speaker stuff organized is, a, is really a key. And I've taught a class on this, or I've taught a program on this multiple times because a lot of times you'll be like, oh, I want to speak at this conference. And oh, there's a, a call for speakers right now. Okay, well, I need to get my, my speaker information submitted on their form. Oh, but they need a bio. Where's my bio again? I don't even know. Maybe I'll just have to rewrite one. Uh, where's my speaker uh, topic and, and bullet points? Uh, oh, I didn't write, I don't have one. I never wrote out, I know my speaker topic, but I don't have an actual blurb to put in the, in the form and the three to five bullets. Hmm, I wonder what I should put in the three to five bullets, right? And so, and oh, my headshot. Oh, I need a new headshot. I guess I'm gonna have to use this old headshot again. I'll just upload that, right? And so finding all these things that requires you to put into a speaker submission form, which could really only take five, 10 minutes if you have it all organized, can sometimes take people hours and days, okay? And so that is holding you back for more success. And a lot of times you might miss deadlines or you just will give up applying because you don't have your stuff ready. So that's not a good thing because we know, we, you know, especially as speakers, we need more speaking gigs and we need to be able to apply, 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 apply. The more, but the more you apply to, the more you can get picked for. Other ways to do systems is say, um, so I have two Facebook groups that are public groups that people can join, right? And so we have a system, uh, this is just one example. We have one system where people, you know, request to join the group. So I wrote out at one point what I was doing to add them all to the group. Now there's questions people answer, you know, in Facebook where they join a group, right? So uh, they have these questions. And once you go to that page where you're adding, uh, approving a member into a group, you, those questions disappear, right? So I have a system where my assistant will go in and she'll look for all the different people requesting to be in the group. She'll take those email addresses that they've agreed to give us and put them into our email newsletter system and add them to the email list, right? So she'll add them to the email list, approve them in the group and send them a private message and so we have a whole system on what needs to be sent to who and when, and what needs to be uploaded, what needs, what blurb to send to per that person in the private message. All of that can be done now because I, I took it out of my brain and stuck it into a, a system, which is a process. It's just a process, a written out step-by-step, -step, this is what you do with 
very clear instructions. So this is something I do all the time with all my systems and, and processes and things that I need to delegate and get off my plate, as well as with clients. If you can just get the stuff out of your head on how you are doing something, how you're doing, whether you take a video like this and you screen share uh, and, and show people, so show somebody what you're doing and you record it, boom, that becomes your system and your process. And somebody can follow that as long as you did it very good step-by-step -step process. So really creating more systems like this so you can get more done, delegate more things to team, to assistants and virtual assistants who can do a lot, a lot of things for you. If you have a podcast, for example, I mean, you want to come on and record your podcast with your guests and then send the recording to them and they do all the other thing else. They can listen, they can take the show notes, they can give the guests the recording, they can upload it to wherever it needs to go, they can put it on your website, they can create the little promotion that goes on social media to promote the podcast. And all you have to do is just show up and interview the guest. So there's so many things is what I'm telling you. I know it's exhausting, okay? But you will get so much more done, which means you'll reach a lot more people and you'll make a lot more money if you enlist more systems and team and get more organization going in your business. And I'm really good at finding out what you can do to do that. So I look at every little thing you're doing in your business and I, it's like a, you know, a third person looking in and saying, oh, well, you don't have this, so you should try that. Or, oh, I see you're doing it this way. How about doing it this way instead? I think that'll save you time. <clears throat> That's what I do. If you're interested in talking about that particular thing or anything else to jumpstart your business, please reach out and uh, you can find a place to have a call with me and a bunch of free trainings if you go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings. I'd love to talk with you, but please go get some free stuff uh, and watch my videos, subscribe to the channel and um, get on my email list. You'd be surprised what kind of cool things I send out and opportunities for you to speak or attend or network or take advantage of. So thanks again, Katrina Sawa, and we'll see you on the next video.